An hour ago on News for Jackson 10, we told you about the trash concerns in the Washington Heights area along Ken Knight Drive. Now we're addressing nighttime safety concerns by neighbors who say the area needs more lighting, better lighting. News for Jackson reporter Eric Avenue has been in that area talking to neighbors who say it look dark at night. There are street lights out here, but those lights do not illuminate this entire neighborhood. That's why neighbors, even delivery drivers, say it's a safety concern. Ken Knight Drive in the Washington Heights area is a heavily trafficked thoroughfare for both cars and pedestrians. As daylight transitions to nightfall, neighbors who live here and even delivery drivers say visibility becomes a safety concern. They feel this area needs more lighting. I come out every night and I walk my dogs, you know, and to walk back and forth, you don't know whether you're going to get hit by a car or if they see you at all. I drive past my house all the time because I can't see. <laughs> that dark. There are LED streetlights in this area, but they don't illuminate the entire neighborhood. This is what it looks like from our moonroof camera while driving with low beams on. And this is what it looks like while driving with the high beams on. Well, Aisha Covington frequently delivers food delivery. in this area, but she says when she receives a food delivery order at night, there are times when she has wanted to reassign the delivery. It's so dark. Even when the lights are on on the resident's address, you can't see. A little fear jumps in my heart because I think someone could be hiding around one of those corners. I'm going to have to get out my vehicle, you know, of course I'm locking it, but that won't protect me. Parents and even grandparents say better lighting can change everything, including the perception that it's unsafe to drive or walk through this community at night. We need these lights for the sake of the kids too. They be wanting to go to the candy store, the candy lady house, and they can't, the car hit them. Somebody get hit. Can y'all please put our lights back up here, please? That's all we ask. Brenda Priestley Jackson is the city council member who represents this area. I did reach out to her office to see if she would comment, but her assistant said that she would not be available for comment for the rest of the week. Eric Avenier, Channel 4, The Local Station.